Oh man, YouTube family, the streets been going brazy trying to understand what's going on with the Pastor Troy situation. You know, candidly, he had released some things in a multiple interviews over the years, but he, he went deep on why Master P and them have a beef, see murder beef, why he got banned. I mean, we're going to break that all down. First of all, free that man, see murder one time. Let's just tell the truth. Free that man, see murder, and let it be known what it is, man. It's a lot of situations going on, and bless one gonna break it down the only way we can. Let's pay these bills right quick, y'all. Yo, Go check out Kid Outlaw new song Run It Up, the hottest Florida rapper out right now. Go check that out. Now a lot of people want to know what's going on with the Pastor Troy situation. You guys know he released a lot of situations on his interviews, but I'm gonna play some of those so we can get to the get down. What's the real core beef? I so this is all just on wax and and so forth. Yeah. Until there was a concert in Nashville. Yeah. A concert in Nashville, man. It was called like uh, Impact or something like that. I think that was the name of the conference, Impact. It's kind of like Jack the Rapper or something like that. That's the stuff that I know now, but I didn't know then. And I was with uh, Alan Henderson, a former uh, Atlanta Hawks player. They had put out an album, Pastor Troy and the Congregation, with Hindu, uh, Hindu Records. So they invite me to the event. They're like, Troy, we want you to come to this music conference. Uh, we got you like 10 grand to come up here for Saturday and Sunday. I'm like, cool. Me and my dog, to this event and it's the biggest thing that i have ever seen in the game you know what i mean performing at the club that night everybody knows that pastor troy is gonna be at this show or whatever but i'm performing with the hindu and the congregation or whatever we get to that venue that night man we know the security at the door i got my dog little pete with me man little pete got a pistol with him get to the door security pat us down we know this dude he's like our neighbor he like, oh no, ain't nobody coming through my door with no gun, hell no. All right, cool. So we upstairs, we upstairs. It's finally about showtime, everybody in the building. When they go to the stage, the congregation is performing first. I'm just kind of on stage, chilling, shaking hands and stuff like that. I smoke hip hop live. Man, uh, in the middle of they set, I just see the crowd just start getting kind of antsy and everything, man. I'm turned one way. Man, when I turn back around, No Limit got the whole stage surrounded. I'm like, oh shit. All I'm thinking about is really, man, they got their hands in their hoodies, man. Luckily, the dude uh, from the congregation see them and he break out. When he break out, I didn't, it was so early in the game for me, man. I ain't have posters, I ain't have flyers. People didn't know what I looked like or anything. And they gave chase to one of the congregation members. And I was able to go the other way and escape the situation. Uh, you know, I always think I think back on that night, you know what I mean? And embarrassing it was at the time, it would have been even more embarrassing to kill somebody, man, and end my career 20 years, <laughs> you know, before it started. Now, he gave that candidly with Vlad TV. And what people don't know is there's a lot of inside information to that. And uh, to, to see him openly talk about it, because a lot of people at the time was like, he took an L from Master P and them. But a lot of people was trying to display and make people understand that it wasn't an L. He survived a, a serious situation. Beats with some of the South, you know, heaviest hitters. Now, this man went on to hey, do yeah, most of interviews, and on those interviews, he released more info and, and, and detailed on those interviews. Let's go to some of them, like Be High ATL. Yeah, man. I mean, I have no choice but to think about you versus P. Yeah. And the key word in that is a versus. Can we get yeah. a versus with a master a P and a pastor Troy? Oh boy, we be some fighting motherfuckers, boy. <laughs> I don't think I want the world to see that shit behind that shit gonna be the shortest damn versus ever. <laughs> and that motherfucker say one thing, goddamn, I'm going across that goddamn stage. And I know you ready to too, so I don't think it'll work out. What we have to do our shit via satellite from somewhere, <laughs> man. <laughs> 
What did you think about the Jeezy and the Gucci verses? It was amazing, man. I'm just glad. Now, when he said that about the whole thing, you guys got to understand, it's real beefs involved in these situations. Now, he continued to talk about it also on Sway Universe years ago. Yeah, hey, yo, this Pastor Troy and them down South Georgia boys, tell him I said we ready to go to war. Click it. And man, that thing took off like wildfire. That was a real call, though, right? It was not. It was on a real call, man. Oh, we just edited in the oh, studio, okay, okay. man. Okay, man, I believe that was a real call. It's for real. <laughs> all right, all right, we okay. weren't that bad. Okay. <laughs> With no money. Okay, you know, right? So, he so, had no limit. You had no money. No money. Yeah, right, man. It was, it. it was all good. So how we was doing that thing then, man, for it to just... Did you ever cross paths with P back then? Man, dog, um, I didn't cross him. I didn't cross P. We crossed C murder. Uh -huh. And of course... Back then, all those boys young, the rah rah, the rule of everything that was going on in the streets. I'm just glad we ain't hurt each other, man. Man, me you too, me? man. And, and, Much and, love, my boy C Murder out there, man. Represent, baby. Come home soon. We out here praying for you, man. That's what's up. That's from Pastor Troy saying that. Man. Yeah. And that's real, man. That's what grown men do. It's just competitive. It's, yeah. it's, it's no different from what took place yesterday when Kendrick Lamar yeah. hit, hit this verse off yeah. and he called out J. Cole and everybody, yeah. Meek Mill, Drake, and all that. That's kind of shout out to the way he explained it and he goes deeper again but this time it's not him it's big swole he explains the master p and c murder are two different people and he goes in also on the things that y'all might call you know a bad situation that probably drifted the wrong way but he calls it in its whole entirety you know what i mean a a, a w um i'm gonna let big swole give you guys the insight on that day so you guys can see as far as what transpired on besides these two master p and swole talking we passed the trade too so as well so i don't know if you know anything about those situations yeah you know the pastor troy situation i really want to talk about it happened you know i'm gonna leave it at that you know it's not it's not something i'm proud of you know and i'm you know it happened you know is that the one that pastor troy spoke about himself where he said yeah. One of his boys got ran down on or something. Yeah, he, he too. He ran okay. too. Okay, well, he left. Well, he, yeah. Trying to make himself look good, but <laughs> it is what it is. And because um, I mean, I like Pastor Troy. Pastor Troy, a cool dude. You know, I mean, and um, you got to remember, you know, P and C are two different people. C murder always want to fight. <laughs> okay, where you at? C wants to fight everybody, you know? And um, he hung out with some dudes in the, in, in, in the, uh, from the Project Cali O Magnolia Weber named Wango and Dodo. Kill us. You understand? I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> them, them niggas would kill us. You understand? I can imagine. Me? Yeah, yeah. One, I, I, think, I think one of them was killed in the car wash in the Seven War. And I, I, I was heard he was shot like 32 times. That's how bad niggas want him there, you know? They was just killers, man, you know? They, they, they was killers, you know? They was high killers and, you know, you know they, they ran with sick. Now, Big Swole told his explanation of that one. Let's go to what Master P had to say about the whole thing years ago, what happened. Hold up, and that's the way it was. Yeah, he was you know my saying? man. He, all, he always spoke man, out see, of let me tell you something. Always. See, why, but see, yeah. see, she got a lot of love in his heart. Yes, yes. He got a lot of love in his heart. Y'all don't realize, man, we got a lot of good brothers, but you, you got to imagine how it, how it go on the streets when it get real, it get real. Yeah. You know, I stopped C from doing a lot of stuff, man, to where, you know, sure. and that's why, that's why a lot of people don't like to be around me because I ain't no yes man, mm. even my own family. Mm. So they want me to be, yeah, man, do this. Yeah. You know, like back in the days, I don't know if you know, what this rapper? Pastor Troy. Yeah, yeah. Pastor yeah. Troy. So, remember wow. Pastor Troy? We I read it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, he made this. I don't yeah. know Pastor I never met him. Get the fuck out nah. of here. I, I, oh, yeah, that I, was supposed to be. The, oh, yeah, oh yeah. shit. Yeah, I totally I never forgot met that. I never okay. met him. But okay. check, check this out what okay. happened, right? Okay. Greg Street called me for the radio and said. Greg Street. Yeah, the okay. radio. It was all Atlanta, right? Pastor Troy's Atlanta. Yeah, Pastor yeah, Troy's Atlanta yeah. as well. Yeah, so he was like, look, P. Blah, 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 won't sit down and talk to you and wave the white flag. I said, I don't know nothing about that. I don't know right. the man. Like, you, you, make, you make records, you got to know what you're dealing with. Right. So I just said, he said, what, what can we do about it? I said, just walk on the other side of the street, you see. I'm not looking for you or nothing. Right. That ain't me. Right. I'm a man wow. of God. But just like wow. two mountains may not meet, but two men will. 
Wow. You know, and it's like, man, you know, you That's know a crazy why you quote, by the way. You know, I ain't gonna lie. you got to know I, what you're doing. I clap my hands. Yeah, when that, I that, that, we gonna make a T-shirt off that song. Yeah. Nah, yeah. but you got to know what you're doing. And she I went. Totally she went to a concert he had. Oh, I already know what it's going oh, on. And it it, <laughs> it 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 went bad. I think she probably got the wrong dude. The dude he thought was him. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, but he was on goat, and I said, see. It could have got real. Right. And all the other dudes around him, hot boy or whoever, I said, they was like, what's up with this dude? I said, man, that dude a rapper. Right. They didn't be a rapper. I man, when you look at the situation, he's like, that dude is a rapper. We heard all the stories of C before. Now, let's listen to Little P of DSG recalling the Pastor Troy beef with Master P. And he was like, it was just me. Troy and a 45 because they're talking about the time when they ran from the sea murder situation allegedly let me hear these guys tell their story on the be high ato when you talk about watching how you walk you look up and then your partner's beefing with master p oh man i i i i had to ride with my dog <laughs> you kind of put my money behind him you know what i'm saying but at the time when when we first finished the album i was on Perry avenue yeah and i told him i'm like we ain't got to do that yeah. And no more playing GA is a hit already. The album's mm -hmm. a hit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, the boss, Red Mouth, who was the boss over everything, you know what I'm saying? It was his call. We had them brought Pete on there to a show, and he never got back with us for years. You know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. had done did their thing, and they felt like it needed to be done. You know what I'm saying? I was just a, 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 a rock. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whatever my niggas say. I'm 16, 17. If yeah. you say blast you, I'm going to blast you. Yeah. Because that's who putting the food on the table, and that's how we rock it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how did you feel about the pressure, though, man, when you looked up and the beef was getting real, and y'all in clubs, and you looking up and see murder pop? You know what I'm saying? That one I knew, I was like, boy, we here, boy. You know what I'm saying? Even that ride we took when we was going up there, Yeah. I don't play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if you talking about somebody, you try trying to handle business, you got to be ready to handle business. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I went in a position where... I can bring a hundred niggas with me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This bro call, you know, I'm just following bro lead. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I'm telling them the whole ride, like, nigga, where we going? You know what I'm saying? And when we get where we going and they go down like that, now you see it's for real. What? Two buses, 50 shirt, 504 shirts everywhere. What? It's me and him in a 45. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I wear, I wear 125 at the time. <laughs> but shit, my dog wanted to be here, nigga, I'm right. What, what's up, y'all? Y'all got party. Oh. And when we got in the room, he came to the room by 8, by 8, 39 o'clock that night, and he said, hey, bro, we going, we going to Jermaine Dupree's birthday party. I'm like, who? <laughs> Jermaine Dupree? Right. I said, boy, these folks finna get up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> these folks finna get up, boy. Right. Well, you knew P was going to be there? It, 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 it was two buses. I didn't know he was going to be there, but I know them buses was there. Man, Lil P is a funny guy. Salute to that man for keeping it real. Now, years ago, Pastor Troy told his troop during a concert of what happened that night during those events. So, we had somebody that took me on birthday bash, man. The year that I was, I was the man in the city. I'm sitting at home disappointed, and I get a phone call, man, from the Dungeon family. The boy said, Troy, man. Can't nobody from no other city, man, take you off no show, man. The nigga said, this ATL, man, you want to perform with us. He gave props to the Dungeon Family legendary group and said they refuse to take them off the birthday bash. They don't really care about who's beefing or not. They're going to ride for the city of Georgia. This is what you've seen over there. And you got to salute them, you know, deep down in them trenches and what they had going on during that time. Man, look, I hope this story can make amends and peace so y'all can understand what's been going on. Maybe they may not be friends, but this was a hip-hop moment in history. I'm your God Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute. Young niggas getting their bands up. Side side ran it up. It was up there.
and it's stuck there. Watch the squares to the kids' sauce. Try to look up, bitch, you got me fucked up. Take, taking money from the kid. This how I feed my jizz. 